We're going to enter into uh, the Forbidden City now. And the palace. Uh, it's now called the palace. When uh, Mao Zedong took over in 49, he opened it up to common people. Uh, before, only emperors could live in there and, of course, people who were serving the emperor. So this is the way in. And of course now, as of yesterday, we showed you this picture, Mao's pictures on top of the Forbidden City or the palace. See on the inside. You can see the doorway to the actual Forbidden City here. Lots of uh, studs on the outside of it. Huge doorways. Lots of people. And as we enter through the, the gate, we look around. Pretty huge inside here. Goes on forever. Uh, turn back through the gate the way we came. That's Titterman Square through the other opening. And uh, we're heading deeper into the actual Forbidden City or Palace. From what I understand, it was robbed quite a bit just after World War II. Uh, quite a few different nations fought over this place and pretty well stripped it of all the diamonds, emeralds, rubies, and precious stones. 24 different emperors lived in this forbidden city. It has 800 different buildings and 9,000 9, different chambers. It's huge, absolutely massive. Beyond that uh, building that's in the viewer right now are building after building after building after building. I just read in the guidebook that uh, <clears throat> apparently the nationalists before uh, Mao took over took a lot of the treasures here and took them to Taipei, which is now known as Taiwan, and they're displayed in the museum over in Taiwan there. This is through the second or third gate now and it still just keeps getting, <laughs> it's so expansive and so many different uh, buildings all around. We're going to see if we can go up top in one of these buildings and have a maybe a higher view. This place is massive. No wonder they call it a city. Okay. We just came through another gate and now we're in the inner court. This is where the emperor and all his sort of family and consorts and concubines used to sort of hang out. This is the inner palace, I guess. I think we've been through about three gates, maybe four. So we're fairly deep into the city now, or the palace. It's called the Imperial Palace now. This mask. the ceiling. And we're into the next courtyard now. This is the other gate. We just keep going and going. This place is massive. No wonder they call it a city. Look at it. I can't believe the size of this. Even the uh, steps down here are carved out of stone. Dragons. Dragons, yeah, for the emperor. Emperor, the dance for queen and above. Wow. Here's the stone carvings again, the old steps. Wow, that's beautiful. How's that for a building for you? Beautiful.
talking about the sundial and how they first kept time with it many, many years ago. And that thing would hold one heck of a lot of soup. This is the intro for the vat that you just saw in the camera there, on the picture. Apparently there was a lot of them. Well, we just stepped through another gate and we're into another part of the city. <laughs> this is just... Look, you know, it just if you can just catch a, a glimpse in the back there, it goes building after building after building. I'm going to put the camera up a little higher. Until over there. Yeah, till, till the tree line. See the tree line over there? There's another temple or pagoda or something way up there. It's just massive. Well, we just came through another gate and this place stretches on to the horizon. You can see way over in sort of the horizon there. It just continues to go and go. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see some of the architecture of the building back there. This building first. And this one off in the distance even further. Something else. Look at this place. No wonder they call it Forbidden City. Emphasis on city. It certainly is massive. And then look, more more gates, eh? Yeah. You can continue to go through more and more. Wow. Amazing. This is the stonework they were just talking about in that introductory. Beautifully done. The dragons, that's gorgeous. Ah, uh, yes, and yet through another gate. Further, deeper into the palace, into the Forbidden City, we go. It just continues onward and onward. I don't know how many of these we've been through now. And back into more buildings, more palaces. I'll tell you, the emperors were very rich people. Well, we only have a half an hour to see the rest of this place because it's closing. So, there's the next gate. Here we are at the Imperial Garden. And through another gate. <laughs> wow. And what you just saw with all the rocks is the hill of piled excellence. Beautiful. Look at that water fountain. Now this certainly is a different style of building. The way that it is uh, built. The architecture. Quite interesting. Love the green in it. Wow. Well done.
We're on the outside wall, or one of the outside walls of the palace now. And just taking a picture from the outside so you can get an idea of how long the outside wall is on one of the sides. It just goes on and on and all the way down there. <laughs>